recently presented Apple's M1 Pro and M1 Max chip have to be highly improved in the new generation. Let's compare their GPUs with other disk graphics chips by GFX Bench and Geekbench. Result information about the chips found on the GFX Bench website for both of the GPU variations. So, let's take information for the chip tests were made with AP Metal. Let's compare it to the last NVIDIA and AMD chips from the database. Also, I did a test of my MCI GP66 and added their results to the comparison. Here we can see all the values obtained from the test. Let's take the results that are available of all of them and compare. For the comparison, no comment. From the test we can see that the M1 Max GPU highly overperforms all existing mobile graphics. I don't know if we should trust it since it contradicts the next comparison. You can ask why 2080, 2070, 2060 is so close in the results? I don't know. I think it's because the results were collected from the GPUs of different power limits from 80 to 160 watts and stored as one. Next, let's see the results from the Geekbench OpenGL test. A few days ago, there were Metal and OpenGL tests for the new M1 GPUs. So, let's compare them with the previous generation MacBook Pro 16 2019 version, my own MCI GP66 with RTX 3070, Intel USD Graphics 630, last year M1 GPU, and results from other popular graphic cards. Here we can see the results much worse than before. RTX 3070 in my laptop twice overperformed the 32 cores GPU chip. So 32 cores GPU we can allocate somewhere here and 16 core version somewhere here. From the results we can conclude that GPU performance of the new M1 chips really varies depending on the task and not only one conclusion can be made. Also I hope soon we're gonna get results from the other variations of graphics chips with 14 and 24 cores.